Good evening and God richly bless you family. A warm welcome to Empowering You for Victory. Moen and I send our fondest love greetings to every one of you. The last three days we have been looking together with you and with God what the word teaches about worshiping God with your tithes. There is the tither, which is you. There is your tithe, which you have to take 10% off your income, your gross income, which belongs to God. By the way, you must take that off before you pay your tax. Because God is first above the government of the land. And then so there's the tithe. But then tonight... I want to focus mainly on tithing the tithe. Most Christians don't know how to tithe the tithe. And next week we're going to do offerings and we will see how you sow your seed before God. So there is the sower, there is the seed, and then they sowing also. So we'll show you this divine order in the word of God. I want to read it. It's given to us during the law. And then I'm going to give you a new covenant version of how to do it. And remember family, there is a link you can click. And you can download the tithers prayer. And you've exchanged your time, you've exchanged your life for the money you are tithing. So your tithing is representing you as you worship God. Now you want to do it by faith because God honors faith and without faith it's impossible to please God. And so when you do it by faith then your worshiping God with your tithes brings protection protection of God over your life. I want to read it in Deuteronomy 26, reading from verse 1. And it shall be when thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee for an inheritance and possess it and dwell therein. Here the Bible is speaking about Canaan's land, not the wilderness but when they've come through and they're dwelling in their land. That land for us is Jesus Christ. Now that you're saved, Christ is in you. He meets all your needs, dreams, desires, according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. But you are in Christ and you are also living and moving and having your being in Christ. From verse 2, that thou shalt take of the first, of all the fruit of the earth, which, shall thou, which thou shalt bring of thy land, that the Lord thy God giveth thee, and thou shalt put it in a basket, and shalt go unto the place which the Lord thy God shall choose to place his name there. And thou shalt go unto the priest, that shall be in those days, and say unto him, I profess this day unto the Lord thy God, that I am come into the country, which the Lord swear unto our forefathers for to give us. And the priest shall take the basket of thine hand, and set it down before the altar of the Lord thy God, and thou shalt speak, she are tied with words and speak and say unto the Lord thy God. This is what you got to say. A Syrian ready to perish was my father and he went down into Egypt and sojourned there with a few and became there a nation great, mighty and populous. And the Egyptians evil entreated us and afflicted us and laid upon us hard bondage. And when we cried unto the Lord, when we cried unto the Lord God of our fathers, the Lord heard our voice and looked upon our affliction and our labor and our oppression. 
And the Lord brought us forth out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm and with great terribleness and with signs and with wonders. And he had brought us into this place and given us this land, even a land that floweth with milk and honey. And now, behold, I have brought the first fruits of the land which thou, O Lord, hast given me, and thou shalt set it before the Lord thy God and worship woo, before the Lord thy God. And thou shalt rejoice in every good thing which the Lord thy God had given unto thee and unto thine house, and thou and the Levite and the stranger that is among you. And when thou hast made an end of tithing all the tithes of thine increase, the third year, which is a year of tithing, and has given it to the Levite, the stranger, and the fatherless, and the widow, that they may eat within thy gates and be filled. This is an order of tithing the tithe, the tithe, the tithe, and tithing. So the tither is actually worshipping God with his tithe. Now this was during the law. Now they, I'm going to read a tither's confession of faith as they worship God in the new covenant with their tithes. Remember what I said. There's a link there on the screen. You can click it and download these notes and you can use them. The tithe's prayer because you want to do it by faith. This is an anointed tithing prayer of worship and you can change it and add your words as you so desire but it'll give you the basic format. This is what it says. I confess this day unto my high priest, the Lord Jesus Christ, that I have come into the inheritance which you swore unto my fathers to give me and have possessed it. I am in the land which thou hast given me, the promised land, the land of plenty and overflow. I was a sinner serving Satan on my way to hell in bondage to sin and the flesh. But I called upon the name of the Lord Jesus. I cried unto the Lord God to save me. And he heard my cry and delivered me from sin, sickness, poverty, death, and hell. You delivered me from the power and the authority of the devil and translated me into the from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of your dear Son. Because of the blood of Jesus, I am now redeemed, righteous, saved, sanctified, sanctified, Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized. I am delivered, prosperous and blessed. Lord God, I have not turned aside from your commandments or forgotten any of them. And according to your word, I now bring the hallowed things of my house, the tenth of all my increase, and I present my tithes to my high priest, the Lord Jesus Christ, who was made a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. I bring the first fruits of my income to him and worship you with it. This tithe is my love, my honor, my devotion, my commitment and my gratitude to you, my God. I rejoice in all the good which you have given to me and my household. I have not eaten any of this holy tithe, neither have I removed any of it, but I have hearkened to the voice of the Lord my God, and I have done according to all that you have commanded me. Now I believe you will look down from your holy habitation in heaven and bless me, my family, and my church, as you have said in your word. I expect these things to take place as I declare that you are my God and I walk in your ways and keep all your commands. As Abram received the blessing from Melchizedek as a tither, 
I now receive the blessing from Jesus, my high priest, and it is so. I confess that the windows of heaven are now open. The blessing is being poured out and there is not room enough to receive it. My life is filled with more than enough and overflow. God himself has rebuked the devourer for my sake. The fruit of the ground will not be destroyed and my vine won't cast fruit before the time. Nations now call me blessed and I am a delightsome land. Today I am experiencing God's supernatural increase and exponential growth in every area of my life. I walk in it by faith. I worship you, Lord, and I call it done in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Remember, this is a reference from Deuteronomy 26. And it's just used from a position of righteousness, faith, and joy in the new covenant. God richly bless you, family. I trust you will download these notes. Don't get involved in just bucket plunking or just doing transfers because you've got to do it. Do it in faith and faith is released both with words and action. This is a holy convocation unto the Lord. You are a hundred percent tither, meaning you tithe all your tithes and you worship God with your tithes and you are a recipient of an overflow of blessings. God richly bless you. Have a great week ahead. Bye-bye, family.